this beautiful ribbed headband I have used Magnus yarn which is 100% acrylic a 5.5 mm crochet hook and a pair of scissors to join the ends I have used a 4 mm crochet hook a slip knot chain 17 70. Now the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, make a double crochet at the back, catch this loop, pull through. You see this loop in the center here? This is my foundation chain. We have to go on doing this all the way till here. So now I'm at the end of my row one. And into the last one here. So this is what my row one looks like. Double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Then I chain one. For row two, I turn my work and I make single crochets all the way down. So single crochet right first here into the first one. just single crochet now we are at the end of row 2 and this is what it looks like I chain 3 at the end of row 2 and I turn my work now this is where it gets a little trickier so I have to work a front post double crochet a front front post double crochet means I take my crochet hook and I insert it in the front of the double crochet I pull the loop and a double crochet this is just to give it a ribbed pattern so in my next one I make a double crochet so this is the one I have used used so the next one I make a double crochet and I just repeat this pattern till the I leave this one I go to the next one a front post double crochet then a double crochet in the I leave this one the next one a double crochet 
also alternating a front a front post double crochet and a double crochet post double crochet then a normal double crochet then again a front post a normal one a front post a normal one alternating till the end of the row so at the end of row 3 it looks something like this and you get a somewhat ripped pattern now to start the fourth row you crochet one turn your work and make single crochets all the way past one Begin row 5, so we chain 3. It is actually the repeat of row 3 and 4, so we make a front post double crochet here in the, in the front post double crochet. And then we make a double crochet in the next one. Post double crochet again in the front post double crochet a double crochet in the next one a front post double crochet and a double crochet in the the end of the row so you get a ribbed pattern which looks like this and now since we have crocheted our ribbed headband which is about 15 centimeters in length 15 centimeters in length we need to join this this way all right and I'm, I'm going to show you how to join this using a single crochet a slip stitch single crochet so can you see this these are the two chains the end chains that we can see we have to align themselves nicely towards each other and then we begin so I align my two rows exactly facing each other and then I've used a four millimeter crochet hook and I'm going to this is my the last crochet so I just pull the thread turn my work so now I have the single crochet on this side taking the single crochet the hook into the single crochet on the other side pull it and a slip stitch again the outer pump of this chain the single crochet on the other side Pull the loop over and you have got a slip stitch and this goes on till the 
whole headband is nicely joined together so the next one here and the next one here pull it pull it make sure that the two ends are aligned so that you get a nice neat finish and i'll finish it till the end and i'll show you how it looks so now we have come to the end of our row the headband so the last two stitches then the last one here and the last stitch the side Pull the thread to the last chain, pull it tight into a knot, and cut it. This one now we have to weave through so that there are no loose ends. So as you can see this is a nice way to end a beautiful headband. Okay then we turn it and we have got a nice pretty ribbed headband. <laughs> 